Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our Great Engine Game series and our Crazy Leela series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and I've got a stunning Leela Rook Odds game for you. Um, I saw this one live. It was um, played by um, a Chinese player, rate right about uh, 2600 on uh, Li Chess. And um, it was a long time control, 15 plus 10, so plenty of time to uh, to see it all unfold and uh, make my own guesses about what was going to happen. And, uh, well, I have to say that I just found uh, what Leela did was, uh, was simply amazing. So uh, let's have a look at this game. Started off with e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, g6, uh, normal Rosalima, you might say, and then b4. The first thing that occurred to me watching the game was that black should play the move uh, bishop g7 and hit the rook on a1. But yeah, <laughs> there's no rook on a1 to hit, so it doesn't really matter at all. Um, so yeah, black plays uh, the move uh, knight takes b4 and white gets in uh, bishop b2, hitting the rook on h8. Sometimes it can be useful not having a rook on a1. So um, f6 from uh, from black is quite a normal idea, actually. Um, black plays uh, f6, knight h6 to f7. So Leela played an uh, interesting move, bishop c4, just um, hitting the, um, uh, the, the knight on g8. Um, yeah, just um, uh, getting the bishop out of the way. It's going to be attacked on, uh, on b5, I guess. Knight h6 played, and now d4. Pretty uh, interesting stuff, not the normal combinations of move that you see, but uh, yeah, Leela just opening lines. That makes quite a lot of sense. Takes, takes. Black played the move queen c7, which seemed a, a little bit funny to uh, to me, but um, uh, yeah, it's not terrible. Just um, probably the queen is more likely to get hit later and the bishop is sort of safer on, on, on b3 than c4. So I didn't quite see the point somehow, but yeah, it's perfectly fine. Bishop g7, knight c3 from white, um, a6 now from black just to uh, to stop um, white from playing knight b5. But white gets in a3, knight c6 and knight d5 and uh, the black queen has to retreat to d8. So black's wasted a little bit of time, but I mean, it's not too crucial. And after all, black is a rook up, so uh, nothing uh, too bad in that. Um, now black probably looking to play e6 now just to um, to chase away the uh, the knight. So Leela played the uh, the hypermodern queen a1 here. Um, the idea being that after e6 we can take on c6 and then take on f6. That's just the uh, the simple idea. Black's got um, a few ideas. Um, Stockfish was su suggesting e5 just uh, get the pawn blocked in there. That's possible. I mean, um, yeah. It deals with the immediate threat, gives white a d5 knight. I'm sure Leela will start coming with f4 quite soon. You know, you, you've often got to be a little bit um, um, or sanguine about the um, uh, the engine recommendations. It's OK to say, oh, e5 would have been minus six. But yeah, would that have stopped the game dead? No, it wouldn't. No, the game would continue. So it's just a different possibility. Black played um, knight f7 here, which is quite sensible, looking to um, um, block the diagonal so that black can actually just castle. Leela said, uh, do you want a castle? <laughs> and played the move h4. And uh, yeah, now black was, was quite brave. I mean, to be honest, um, yeah, h5 is coming in and whether you've castled or not, there's there's potential danger, right? I mean, uh, it could have h6 as a pawn sack and then some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of combined thing here, or um, you could put pressure on the g6 pawn. So, yeah, I mean, uh, the engines were looking at b5, h5 and knight a5, which is a plan black plays as well in the end, but just to move earlier. And uh, after bishop a2, knight c4, just trying to shut out the bishops that way. That seems quite sensible somehow, as long as you're confident that uh, that nothing's happening on the uh, on the king side there. Um, Castles um, just feels a little bit more dangerous. Um, I was thinking about h5, to be honest, which, you know, is not so stupid. Although, you know, there is always the possibility of knight f4 to attack the pawn. You might have rook h6. Looks a little bit awkward, but at least you're keeping the white pieces at bay. Decisions, really. Black played the move castles. It's not bad, but it is going to be slightly risky, of course, against uh, Leela. Um... Yeah, how are you going to do things? Black played it, frankly, I think, in a sensible way. Played knight a5 
and then b5 just trying to um um uh, to block the uh, the bishop with uh, knight c4 but now Leela starts to uh, to get going starts hitting at the at the king side and things are going to get very very sharp so Leela took took um stockfish actually suggested uh, knight takes knight f5 for some reason and after takes wanted to play bishop d4 um quite interesting looking to play uh, bishop b6 here and uh, kind of trap the black queen and after knight c4 uh, bishop takes c4 um that's black's idea um not b takes c4 because of bishop b6 but just bishop b7 the idea of knight c4 which you're going to lose most likely lose the knight anyway so um you know let's just give it away and uh, have a tempo on the knight and after bishop b3 bishop takes d5 e takes d5 and e5 you know that's the uh, kind of the idea i mean this is quite complicated somehow black sort of getting out of it for now um possible but knight f5 is interesting yeah i'd be also be interested to look at something like queen d1 and then queen h5 but just to show that there are possibilities but leela played the move um knight f4 sorry i just misclicking terribly there knight f4 um hitting the pawn on um on g6 now black thought for a very long time here um, and then decided to go for it with e5. In principle, it's a good move, but obviously the, the risk is increasing. On the other hand, yeah, I mean, that pawn on g6 is going. And once the pawn on g6 goes, then, you know, you get ideas like queen d1 to h5. So probably it's just one of those brave decisions that has to be done. But what you, you definitely are saying is that um, um, Leela is, um, um, is able to... Um, uh, yeah, just to somehow create risk in uh, in these positions, you know, just um, already um, from being a rook down. So knight takes g6 played, e takes d4 and queen d1. I mean, the engines are saying it's uh, minus 4.9 still, so still very good, but obviously a lot's happening here. So knight c4 played, very good move to block the uh, diagonal, and now queen h5. And now black's got a couple of ideas, queen h7 checkmate is the uh, is the big threat here so you've got to block it either you block it with knight g5 or knight h6 my feeling was during the game that knight g5 might be better and um, that's what the engines think too um, the idea is after f4 you go knight takes e4 and you know the point is queen h7 you can escape to uh, to f7 um, and if queen d5 you can go something like rook f7 here and Seems to be okay, yeah. Queen e4, there's uh, there's d5, and I think probably queen a8, there's uh, there's d5 as well, and you're sort of uh, you know keeping things together somehow. You're still a piece up here. Quite risky, yeah. I mean, really quite difficult, but yeah, um, it seems to be okay. But Leela might have discovered something else there. I mean, you never know. Leela might well have found a, a way of keeping uh, stuff going. What Black did was uh, was play knight h6. That was something that I'd seen too. Uh, bishop c1 and now um the move bishop b7 and there's um yeah i mean this is this is getting quite interesting now the idea is that if you go bishop h6 then you've got bishop e4 and um um now something like um uh, bishop g7 i think you, you're just going to play bishop uh, takes g6 here and the, the clever idea is that queen g6, I've got queen e8 check swapping off, swapping off the queens. That's really, uh, really clever somehow. So Leela, I mean, I thought that this was actually going to work. And uh, but Leela just played the calm move f3 and said, your move. Right. OK, so what are you going to do here? Well, um, again, I had two ideas um, and the uh, uh, the opponent here, uh, Black, played you know one of them. Um, what Leela, what the engine suggesting is something that hadn't occurred to me at all, is to play the move rook f7. And after takes takes, play the move rook g7. And you're just um, making sure that your uh, your king can come around the rook there. So queen h8 check, king f7 is nothing. Um, I mean, there's still some danger here after knight f4 and queen h5 and king e7. But the engines were sort of thinking that um, that you'd be able to get out of this a lot better. Bear in mind that black's got some threats like queen a5 to d2 as well. So I think that rook f7 was really the best move. I didn't spot this uh, during the game. Queen e8, I thought. And um, after bishop takes h6, I had 
two ideas here. Um, the idea that was played in the game, which I thought was also going to be pretty good, and the move that I was kind of thinking of, which was bishop takes e4. Um, takes, takes, king d1. And I just wasn't sure somehow whether this was uh, going to work or not, but I, I thought that maybe it would, because you've got this move, d3. And you're, 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 you're trying to get a queen e2 check in here. And it just turns out to be really difficult for white to avoid. I was assuming maybe that white would have something, but it just looks like there's actually nothing and uh, and white's going to be OK. Um, Bishop d2, queen e2 check, takes, takes, was what the um, what the engines were looking at. And uh, well, I mean, white's done pretty well. It's only the exchange and the pawn down. But um, yeah, from now on, you know, black should be in control, although. My goodness, we've seen so many games where uh, Leela gets past these positions. I'm not saying that this would have been absolutely winning, but that would have been um, uh, a decent idea. But what Black did uh, as well was pretty good. I, I couldn't see a way to, to carry on here, actually. Um, takes, takes and King F7. And uh, yeah, the idea the King's heading for the hills. And yeah, you don't have many pieces in the attack. So I was sort of thinking, I don't really see how, um, how White's going to carry on. But then Leela shocked me. <laughs> with the move e5, which is a very nice move indeed. I mean, I was thinking that Black's idea here was to play the move rook g8, you know, already actually, uh, you know, hitting the knight, and then you can actually get this rook g7 idea. I'm a little bit slow on it compared to uh, the engines, but that's the basic idea. But e5 is a gorgeous way of preventing that, because if you go rook g8, I suddenly spotted it, you know, whilst um, whilst I was waiting for Black to move. You've got this incredible idea, knight h8 check. And um, if rook h8, I've got queen f6 check and uh, rook takes h8, mate. And if um, uh, king e6, I've got queen e6, king d5, queen d6 checkmate. Absolutely brilliant. So f takes e5 is also not clever. You take take and you go rook h5. And it's just really hard for the king to um, uh, to do anything here. Uh, you, you're going to likely lose some material here. I've just got rook takes e5 coming in uh, at the very least. Knight takes e5. It's all happening there. So what on earth can black do? Well, black reacted really well. He ran with the king, king e6. Um, Leela took on c4 and then played this move, king f2. I mean, I was, again, looking, how do you carry on? And Leela's just playing calmly, king f2. And uh, now, um, in actual fact, not only can the rook in, come along on the h file, there's also the possibility, for example, of coming to the e file. And that's what Leela made use of, played the move rook e1. Now, the engines thought that f takes e5 was the best here, ready to give up the queen if uh, white takes everything on e5. That's still rather nasty for a human to play because there's loads and loads of checks. But uh, yeah, um, might be the best. I mean, there might also I mean, I, I don't know what Leela would have done. It's one of the, the weird things about um, looking at all these games is that, um, you know, you're analysing with Torch. It feels very much, to be honest, like um, when I when uh, we wrote Game Changer and I was uh, spending hours and hours analysing these Alpha Zero Stockfish 8 games with traditional engines. And you sort of felt, yeah. You know, I'm looking at all this stuff together with them, but I'm I'm not really sure that they're really grasping what Alpha Zero really is doing, and uh, and they're saying that this is not good, but maybe it is. And I was trying to actually trying to rely very much on, um, on on my ideas about what would be compensation as well, and then you know uh, also trying to judge it that way. It was you know from that point of view, it was a a really tough book to write. Um, you know because uh, yeah, you, you're not really sure that you can rely on the engines, and also here you're not really sure because um, uh, Leela is doing just incredible things. You know, discovering risk and you know providing risk for uh, for the opponent, and uh, yeah, my Leela's idea in this position might be completely different to what the engines think is the objectively best move. You know, but this certainly looks like um, um, a decent idea. Uh, but black running with with king c5 wasn't so bad either. Leela took on f6, queen f7, and then played a move that none of the other engines were expecting. Um, queen d2 was an interesting switchback that uh, both Torch and Stockfish liked, looking to play queen b4 check. That's quite interesting. Remember that there's uh, it might stuff like that might come later. But queen g5 is giving black a lot of choices about what to do. Um, the nice thing is if you go d5, which is probably the best move, then I think that Leela was probably intending knight e5 when queen f6, knight d7 wins the queen. So you've 
got to play something like queen h7 and then we can just play something like c3 open up the king and yeah okay the engines are saying minus 3.26 but yeah <laughs> what can i say i mean the king's getting opened with cd you know there's there's just craziness all over the place basically so you know would still have been very difficult black tried to keep on running with king b6 but now i think this is the move that uh black had uh, missed and um yeah it, this move was played quite quickly so i didn't really have time to think of it myself but i wonder whether i would have spotted that too because leela played the move rook b1 the point is, you know, this move king f2 from white uh, earlier on, it didn't just open the e file, which is where you were sort of focused on. It's also opened the b file for the rook. And now uh, Torch is saying mate in 31. Um, I guess that's 31 half moves, probably 16 uh, full moves. But um, uh, yeah, the king's run all the way and Leela somehow managed to uh, to run with it. So um, king c7. And now Leela played the move queen a5. Um, queen c5 was what Torch wanted, but yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, after king b8 from black, Leela played queen b4 and uh, and black resigned here in actual fact. The big problem is that you're hitting um, both uh, the b7 uh, bishop and also the uh, the rook on f8. So, I mean, at the very least, if, um, um, if you went d5, you can even just play this move. And then afterwards, you're just going to play knight g6 and, uh, and queen your pawn. But um, I imagine that there's uh, more uh, uh, stuff like uh, queen, um, queen d6 check, for example. I mean, just uh, you know, lots of uh, amazing stuff happening there. I'll just show you the mate that uh, Torch thought. Queen c5 check, bishop c6, queen a5, and then knight a7, knight e7. And that forces queen takes c7, which is obviously going to be pretty, uh, pretty serious stuff somehow. So um, that was the game. What an amazing game, right? I mean, I, I watched it in just amazement. And uh, actually, I watched this guy for uh, maybe a, an hour, hour and a half. Um, uh, he was playing various games against Knight Odds and Rook Odds Leela and taking it very seriously with long games. Uh, and he's 2,600 at Lee Chess, uh, various disciplines. So, you know, pretty good, really. But uh, I think he lost nine and a half half and uh, maybe six of those, seven of those with um, with Rook Odds and uh, Three of those with uh, with Knight Odd. Simply uh, amazing watching Leela, uh, you know, play that way. I've got a few more games uh, from uh, from his match series, which were, you know, really really interesting there. So um, yeah, you know, hope you enjoyed that too. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, do keep on liking and subscribing the videos, and uh, hope to see you at the next ones. Thanks for watching.